as an artist, you have these... I mean, the idea of a wall crossing a, a, a road, for me, is such a, a powerful and interesting, beautiful thought. And um, so when the prospect occurred that I might take it across there, and the work was originally planned for the other side of the road, the director wanted to connect this part. And I think it was his suggestion that we take it across the road, and my, I just had this... I mean, it was just a fantastic idea. Amazingly, we have permission to take the wall across the road and it will be blocked for a f two or three weeks while we wait for the wall to cross. And it will sit there. I think that would be quite an extraordinary moment. When I came, uh, I spent quite a few days in the, in the area thinking about what to make and uh, I was struck by the number of stone walls in the in the area and uh, and unusually for a city they're actually kind of almost ag well they are they feel like agricultural walls and they've come out of the place out of the ground here and and I quite like that I've I've got a long history of working with walls as an artist so the uh, the commission of the the shuttlecocks the way it straddles a museum and engages with the space sets a kind of a precedent of a work of a major scale that somehow embraces the entire place. I mean, I was asked to come here and make a work to honour Morton and Estelle uh, Sosland, people that uh, commissioned the Oldenburg shuttlecocks. And whenever I come to a place, I like to try and uh, connect to something that is already there, to draw from what is already there. So that led to the idea of making uh, this particular work. I wanted to make something that would rise to that kind of quality, so I had this idea of making the wall that would connect the new part, this is a new area that the, the museum has now got, with the, the, the side on the other side of the road. So I'm building a wall here. The wall will travel through this field, across the road, and round the side of the museum, down some steps, and then enter the museum. At any one time, it will be a hundred yards long. On this occasion, we'll take the wall to the, uh, to the edge of the road, and at that point, I will begin to dismantle the wall from the end it started and feed the front end, so it will travel. Uh, the, front, the back end will feed the front end, and, and, and it will physically travel through the space. The total length of the wall will be 500 yards and uh, we will make each sec uh, each hundred yard section will be made there'll be five stages to the project and uh, in which the wall will move a hundred yards each section then it'll stay for a while before we return so it will travel through the year the end bit the last hundred yards will be permanently here part in part outside the museum and it'll be particularly interesting when it is taken across the road and at that point I think people will divide it into those people who love the idea and poetry of waiting for a wall to cross the road and those that don't. And I haven't quite figured out how it will actually physically end in the building yet. But I've got a long time before that happens. I am old enough now to have worked as long as I have to enter these things with a great deal of uncertainty because I've got enough experience to know that I'll figure this out. And the decision that I come to will be far better because I know about the process than if at this time I said to you, he's definitely going to do that. I don't know the place in the way that I will know this place by the time this project is over.